Hello Summoners and Summoners, it's Gordon here and today I'm bringing you, we'll call it the first episode of Backburner Champions. That's what I think I'm going to use for the kind of, you know, underplayed champions. I might change it, so if the title says otherwise, I went with something else, but I kind of liked Backburner Champions. I think that was a suggestion given to me, because, you know, it relates to Gordon Ramsay still. And it's pretty much what I want to go for with the whole mini series here and a lot of you guys were kind of confused i guess so i'll kind of clear up and clarify what i wanted to do with this mini series i just wanted to play champions that you guys you guys can request champions by the way in their common role i'm not gonna play like anivia adc but i'll play anivia mid i want to play champions that you know they don't shine in the spotlight they're not played every game in the lcs just champions you want to know more about but in their respective roles so it's not going to be like soul wolf's break the meta i'm not trying to play like zillion jungle something like that i'm not trying to do crazy crazy out of the blue stuff i'm just trying to give you guys more insight on champions that you want that you could potentially take into their respective lanes so, to kick it off, we'll start with Trundle Top. It was really, really widely, widely requested, so we'll just hopefully kick it off with a good win here. And yes, I bring Ancestral Blessing? Runic Blessing. I love this mastery. It's so troll. It's the must be a mastery you can ever bring because it says pretty much I like wasting a mastery point and I don't need it to beat you. So, <laughs> don't actually bring it. It's like the worst mastery, but. I do it just to have a little BM fun. So I think I'm against Nikali here, who brought Ignite, so she definitely has the kill potential on me at level 6. I have TP, but I'm honestly just gonna try and farm, because I don't really think I can kill her. I don't think she can kill me until she hits her 6 and then gets pretty decent all-in potential in my opinion. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let her proc that Q actually, so once this runs down, if she comes up before the minion, I'm going to try and auto her and then reset with the Q. That was good. So I uh, pretty much got that immediate auto attack reset with the Q there, and I think it heals you as well, right? Oops. Don't want to miss any crit. Maybe it only heals you after uh, successfully killing a minion. I need to look that up real quick. Doesn't I heal? Oh, maybe it just applies lifesteal, so that's where he gets his heal from, from his chomp. But we have a massive wave here against the Kali, so this is going to be really good. I didn't even try to shove her in. She just kind of let me shove her in on my own. And a Kali is horrendous under turret early on. So we're going to get about a wave and a half under the turret. And she's just going to miss, hopefully, so many CS here. So that's the goal. I'm going to pick up my pillar level 3. Just because I want to have the utility and potential uh, blockage if their jungler does come. So I do have to get a ward down. Because it is Nautilus and I don't want to get grabbed in. But then I'm going to immediately come and try and pressure Akali off with some of the CS here. It's going to be rude and wall her off here. Yeah, like I said, she's going to miss a decent amount here. So yeah, she's at 8 and we're at 15. So just because we got that relatively free push, we are already taking a pretty commanding CS lead. And I'm not really trying to fight her. I mean, I'm fine. We're just getting free CS against this Akali. And making her lose a little CS here and there to turrets. It sucks I can't get those minions right there just because... Oh, hello. I'm going to go ahead and put down my frozen tundra here just so I don't get locked down by the naughty boy. Juke! Alright. <laughs> he took a turret shot. Oh my god, can I kill him? Okay, we got his flash. I'll flash for his flash. That's worth. If only I had ignite, man. I was double whoops. <laughs> I juked and he hit the turret, so he pulled himself to the turret. That's so troll, but awesome. So, wasted Nautilus' time. He didn't get anything from that gank, and our Warwick was just farming up the whole time, so Warwick should be ahead of the Nautilus in that sense. Ah, oh, I didn't miss that. Or, I missed that creep. Pathing OP, man. I missed that. Oh, God. Okay. Some bad last hitting out of me there, but... Definitely a huge wave now stacked up on... Or against me, rather, so... Want to try and dwindle that down here? I gotta let it go to the tower now. That's fine though. I do have TP, so I might just get this. She's looking to dive me. Oh, that chomp really didn't go off. 
Okay, if that Q had proc, I might have died there from an all-in potential, but I think we're good for now. I'm gonna pop my potion though, just try and top off just a little bit here. Akali's taking some turret shots. I just realized she went claw five, dude. What a poos. Alright, if she procs this, I could die, so I'm actually gonna go back here and just teleport back to lane. Not gonna miss anything, because I do have that TP, so not bad at all. And she's trying to shove to the best of her ability here, but I'm just going to teleport back, and then we will pick up a Vamp Scepter and some pots as we teleport back. What? It only gave me one pot, but it said two pots on my screen. Whatever. We got the Vamp, so we're good to fight her now. First Blood coming out for Fizz, so that's really good for us. And now I just have pretty decent sustain with this Vamp Scepter to potentially go up against the Sakali here. Alright, Force of Shroud, that's not bad. Don't have flash though, and she has ignite, so I do have to respect that. But I do have uh, obviously more power than her right now because I do have that vamp scepter on me. But she will hit level six before me, so gotta watch out for that. Unless I get it right here, I'm gonna get it off this minion because I show power than her. So maybe we can do something with that. I'm just gonna. Okay, never mind. There goes the shroud, and she just walks it off. So nothing done to both parties there. Now she has no shroud, I might try and go in and either zone her off some creeps here or get some decent damage done on her. Yeah, I'm okay with trading my Q with her Q now because I do have that sustain on me. Alright, I think I'm gonna try and all in her here. Wow, got a flash for pretty much free there, so lucky me she wasn't 6 and I could have just abused the fact that I had a lot of minions there so she kinda had to hide in her shroud there. And then when she was trying to run away, I plopped that pillar up and was pretty much forcing an easy flash there. And I am kind of auto-shoving the wave here just because I want to get as many auto-attacks off on creeps as possible because that more autos equal more health back from Vamp Scepter. So it does shove the wave, but I am getting health back from it. And she's going to hopefully miss some CS to the turret here again like usual. I'm assuming she's going back here, so I'm actually going to just shove the wave as hard as I can here and pop my cues on the wave whenever they're up and available. Not bad. Oh my god, the siege minion, dude. Siege minions troll so hard in this game by swapping out red, it's unreal. Chomp. Alright, cool. So she should miss this whole siege wave and I get to just go back as well for free and not really miss anything. So that's really, really good for me. And I do have my bilge water now as well, so just a ton, a ton of sustain for me against the Sakali. He's probably going to come back with a Hextech Revolver. Ooh, I shouldn't have bought a green ward. I should have bought a pink ward, honestly. What did she got? Hextech. Okay, that's what I thought. So we both have decent sustain now. I have teleport coming up in 80 seconds, so I need to make plays around the map, and she needs to kill me one on one. So that's just that's our win condition. Simple as that. Nice. He should live. We'll play, we'll play. So I'm really just going to abuse the fact that I have that global pressure and hopefully teleport like behind bot lane or something, but it, obviously it's not up right now, so can't do too much. And I would get the CS, but I'm kind of afraid of the Sakali at the moment, just because there's a lot of caster minions that could potentially go against me here. I might bait her in here, Warwick. Did get behind him. Double kill coming out for Ash though. That's pretty scary. So, she's in her shroud. This is good for us though. Because she has no flash. And she's in her shroud here. So Warwick's just going to alter right away. Should alter. I'm going to pop my ult on her. And then we'll build water. Keep her slowed. She's done for. Whew. That was not even close. She just fell off the map, man. But yeah, free kill there. Good job by Warwick. Just you know, having the presence of mind to... Uh, not really run too far away. She almost tried to make a juke attempt there, but he just immediately popped his R. And pretty free there, just because we got her flash earlier on. So, good job by Warwick there. And this Fizz is on a spree already, so that's really good. And again, I'm just going to shove as fast as I can, simply because she's not in the lane here. And want her to miss this whole siege wave again. Alright, fancy that. So, I'm going to be able to actually walk to Dragon now, as... She's going to have to come top, and then we can force Dragon, and then I can just teleport back to top if need be. So we're in a really, really good spot to uh, potentially 
get some good global gold here. So now we should just five man dragon, honestly. It should be relatively free. My ult's gonna be back off cooldown as well. And since I shoved top prior to actually going back, I'm gonna miss maybe one wave top because she won't be able to shove that wave fast enough before we uh, finish off dragon here. And I'll just teleport back to my turret and we won't really miss anything. So you don't even need me, man. Or do they? Nope, that's awkward. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go top then. <laughs> I came just to give them the security of me being there. See, so yeah, I look at this huge wave built up. I probably missed only like four CS tops. So really don't miss anything and that just secures dragon. And now I don't really need teleport because dragon's off the map. Sure, I could use it to go bottom, but really you just want teleport so you can easily get to dragon in the early game here. And my Fizz is just killing it, man. I like it. Wait, no, that was, yeah, yeah. Fizz is killing it, dude. But our bot lane's a little lackluster at the moment, but eh, trying to, you know, late game, you can just run out the ADC and sap all their stats, so uh, shouldn't be too worried about them. But yeah, our farm is absolutely really, really good right now. That, I don't even know if that made sense. Absolutely really, really good. <laughs> But uh, gonna jump. Oh, nice. Got the jump down before she went in her shroud there. And oh, come on. Let me jump ya. All right, I'm I'm down to fight you. I'm down to fight you, woman. That was a really bad pillar, but oh well. So now that I got a little chunked and we did some trading with her, I'm just gonna get all my health back. Oh, okay, we're getting all in here. So I gotta pop my ult, and I might die here. I'm gonna pop my build. Do I have to flash? Okay, we're alive. She doesn't have a dash. That's not bad. So both are summoner spells for my flash, and we both traded alts and whatnot, so I'll take it. Whatever, I just get to go back, I don't really, oh god, I'm dead. Ugh, pillar. I'm gonna live. <laughs> I'm so mad I just got that kill. I was literally looking over here with tab open. Someone pinged me, I think it was Fizz. Fizz pinged me, and there's a Nautilus sitting on me. Okay. Well, that happened. Thank you, Fizz. <laughs> Come out and just chop him. I almost had a good uh, pillar here where it separated me and him, but ended up just kind of pinning him against the wall there, and I was able to just run away because he was slowed, so... Looked really awkward, but it worked. <laughs> and I get a free kill. And because of that, I'm going to sell my ward and just wait a few gold here, and I'll have my Bork already. A 13-minute Bork is really, really early in my opinion, so... Now we get to go pretty much just straight up tank if we want here. And depending on what Warwick does, can't tell from what he's building, he's only got one item, but we definitely can go either or, just damage or full on tank. So that's good to have that option for us. Please just leave, don't die. We do lose mid turret, but we got bot turret for it. So traded turret for turret, they got the better turret, but the fact that they sent so many resources mid and only came out with, you know, one turret. It wasn't too bad for us. So just gonna pop down my frozen terrain here and kind of shove the wave here, force Jarvan to kind of deal with me. I'm gonna kill him. All right, I'm gonna ult him and he's dead. Should be dead. Do I have to Bork, really? Okay. Well, I had to Bork to kill him, but we got him killed there. That was pretty easy. If I get another E, nah, I can't. Whatever, free kill. He had no mana and he was just up in my face, so I don't care if a collie's there, that's not safety net for you. I'm just gonna walk up to you and press my buttons and you're gonna fall over. So that puts me on a killing spree now, I'm 3-0 with 86 CS. Oh my god, that ash is huge! 4-0 and a ton of CS, so I know who I'm training down in team fights. And look at this wave. That's like two and a half waves there. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Q to auto attack reset on that turret there. Maximize my DPS, and that turret is just gonna get walloped down. Gonna let it kill some CS here, so I'll let the CS finish it off. But uh, not bad, not bad. Free turret there, free kill, free stuff. I like it. Holy mother of beef shrimboli. She does a lot of damage. I'm dead. Alright. Well, that's just kind of me. I don't know. Being greedy in a sense. I don't know if I could have run away from her. She does a lot of damage, but Nautilus showed up too. Got behind me and I get shut down, but not the end of the world, but that kind of sucks still. Where do I want to go? Because they're a Kali. 
just got back in the game, but their Ash is so far ahead. I'm just gonna go Rhinoans, and then we'll go maybe Bubble after that, so that'll be nice for us. Do have TP? I'm gonna TP behind him here on a ward, see if we can get in on him. Can we go? I'm just gonna try and separate the Ash here from our team, which I do, and I get the flash out. The fish misses. Late Nami wave. Oh well, we can we can win this here. Nice Nami bubble there. We got the Ash. That's what we really wanted. J4 goes down as well. Putting down my frozen tundra. We're moving in here. He's gonna queue away probably, but he goes down. Boom! A three for one exchange, and we get the shutdown there. Very very good stuff there. Kali off in the backside. It looks like the Wicks just chasing her down, but now we get that three for one exchange and potentially a turret here. So that's going to be good. Ezreal should be able to stop by and yeah, we could lock down this turret here. We will actually. The next creep wave shows up and that is a huge swing for the team there just from a teleport there. So really, really good stuff. Dragon is up soon. Don't counter general that main. We can steal it again. So hopefully we can just burst down Dragon because it is spawning, but we are kind of low, so it's really risky if they rushed straight to Dragon, but I think we can just nuke it before they even realize it. So I'm going to put down a Frozen Tundra here, and we will just wop away at the Dragon. Yeah, this should be free. Oh my god, my attack speed is ridiculous with that Ezreal W on me. So I'm going to get Golems, and then I'm going to head back. Hopefully I can get Golems. Because that'll give me enough for my Warden's Mail component of the Randys here. So this will be good for me. Beautiful. Alright, so now... Thurman's going top. There's a big wave there, so it might take him a little bit to get that to my turret. But it looks like I'll just have to run up top lane and get that CS there. Nice. Both components of Randys purchased. So once we get that, it'll really, really shut down the Ash. And then we do need... In my opinion, a bubble on the still, because that'll absorb a lot of spells that can potentially combo us down here. Is he... Yeah, he's probably dead on us. Oh yeah, you're dead. Well, that's unfortunate that they're kind of getting back in the game. Don't... Please leave. Okay. I think he's dead. He's actually dead. Woo! We're just gonna get dove all day, boys. Is he alive? Wow. I don't know why he's alive. I honestly thought he would die. Maybe Nautilus didn't have all... So, that's good for us then. If he uses his E or Q, I'm just running straight at him because he won't have the gap closer to uh, potentially run away from an all-in here. So I'm just waiting for him to make the mistake of using an ability here. I know you want to Q the wave, boy. Are they all coming for me? Maybe they are, and I'm going to get baited here, but I'm going to keep pressuring him here. Please use an ability. Yeah, they're all coming for me. I can feel it, but I'm still going to get baited by it, man. He is really just holding onto his abilities, man. That is quite something. There it is. Alright, we're going now. Gonna pop my ult and my Blade of the Rune King here. He's got no Q, and this is just gonna be freedom. Please. No! Nami's there. She's got this. Yeah, that's my girl. Put the E on me. Alright, we got the chomp going down on him. Actually, Akali's coming, so I'm just gonna leave. Hopefully, okay, now let's stop, so, got the kill, wasn't the prettiest of kills, but we got it. Holy jamoli, that Warwick already has, oh, that was really bad, I didn't even mean to cast that. Warwick already has his freaking Iceborne Gauntlet, and just destroyed. She's gonna pop Shroud, alright, okay, that was her only way of juking, and she did it, and <laughs> that Nami got destroyed. So Nami's mistake there was she showed up even though it was a 100% guaranteed kill. There was no way that Akali was gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, get out of that. So it's just greed there and instead of going, uh, you know, Akali for no one, we went Akali for one. So, oh my god, did you see that lag? Oh, that was awful. Yeah. Alright, so I thought their red, red was up, guess not. I'm just gonna rotate top while there's a big wave here and try to get some decent damage down on the turret. My ult is back up off cooldown, very very short cooldown for Trundle here. Oh yeah dude, we are decimating this turret here. That Q reset is really really good for just 
destroying turrets here, especially once you have Bork, you got a lot of attack speed on you as well. So, free turret there, I'm just gonna try and run away with my shielder. I just got it, screwed. Alright, well, got the turret. I kinda suicided for the turret, it's not that big of a deal. And we killed J4 on the other side of the map as well, so, not too bad. And I will have enough for Reno's Omen as well. I'd say that's worth, honestly. I got the turret, and it caused... Was it... Yeah, four people would go up there to kill me. So, in return, my team played it right, pressured the opposite side of the map, got a kill as well, and a turret. So we got two turrets and a kill for just one kill on the enemy team. So super worth for us. And now I get my random ones and a pink ward as well, just to really, really shut down this Akali. Because that's the easiest way to beat her. She puts down a shroud, you plop down a pink ward, and what is she going to do? And she does have zonas, but still... She's just a mobile once she's zoned you, so pink wards is just the easiest way to destroy a Kali. It's pushing into me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly get my blue. Well, it's not my blue, but it is now, you know what I mean? And then I'll go ahead and go top while that pushes into the turret here. So, whew, blue buff on me, that is gonna be some fun stuff, man. That is gonna be ridicul ridiculously short cooldowns. I can't even talk, man. But we are 324 right now, 116 CS, kind of equal strength at the moment of Akali, but I think we offer a little bit more as far as team fights go, just because we can build pretty much against their team here, because Ash is the fed target here. So just gonna clean out top lane here, I do have my TP up, so that'll be very nice for me. And obviously maxing my W second here, because it's just crazy combat stats you get in that field of frozenness, I guess. And you don't really need to put any more points than one in your E. I mean, you could just because you get a lower cooldown and you can maybe catch out people more, but we already have really good catch with Nami, Warwick, and Fizz, so I'd rather just get the field going for me. And a lot of them are still mid lane here, so I'm just going to shove top really hard here and see if we can maybe get a free inhib turret because they're all sitting mid. But I don't want to get caught at the same time, so I'm kind of going to go back and forth, whether, you know, a cat and mouse game. See if we can bait them into it. If they come for me, my team gets stuff like Dragon. If they don't, I potentially get a T3. But I have to get out of here after that. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to put my ult on the Nautilus here because he's got the majority of stats there being, uh, you know, armor, MR, and health there. God, they sent four people here! <laughs> Alright. I don't even care, man. I can't be mad about that. So four people top again, we get dragon. Whatever. I almost got a kill too, but I probably should have just left, honestly. Uh, what boots do I want? They have a lot of CC. So I'm just gonna go Merc Treads here and just be a really, really big split push nuisance here. And what do I want to go next? It's probably Banshee's Veil, just cause, like I said earlier, it's gonna be really good in team fights here. And it'll let me pretty much run away from anyone they send at me. Going bot, have TP, letting my team know my intentions here. I'm just gonna pressure bot lane, so hopefully they go top or try and take Baron now. And they know I have teleport, unlike anyone else on their team. So we have that global pressure and that ability to split push here. If they engage, I got my TP, I can come in from the side here, just watching, seeing what they do. They don't. Hook does not connect, so I get to just go bottom here and hopefully pressure. This is, yeah, this is gonna be good pressure too because look, okay, never mind, they're fighting. Are we winning? Well, that's the question. We are winning, so I don't even, I don't even need to go in this fight. The fight's already won. Looks like they're gonna catch Ash out, hopefully. She should die. Do I need... No, I don't need to teleport. Cool. So Akali didn't get any resets there, so that was really good. 4v5, honestly, by my team there. So I didn't really need to do anything. And we're gonna get Baron now, we're gonna get Bot and Hib off that probably, so a lot of good things happening. And I was just, you know, constantly paying attention, making sure if I needed TP then I would. If not, you know, just crazy pressure on the map for the team here, so... Really, really well played by the team, and that should be Baron for us. I don't know if I can actually... Wow. Alright. 
I'm impressed, Darwin. You really wanted me. Do it. I swear to God, jump on me again. I'll press all my buttons and you'll die. Okay. They surrendered, so I'm gonna try and kill them. Uh, no! Yes, got it. <laughs> Alright. We get the kill right before the game ends. Not a bad game, but it just goes to show you don't really have to be in team fights to you know make a big impact on the game. I was constantly pulling four people just to kill me, even though yeah, I did die, I probably should have lived both times. But my team did a great job of utilizing the map pressure that I created, got objectives around the map, whether it be turrets or baron or dragon, and we kind of, you know, slowly came ahead every now and then just because they played around the map really well. So, Trunnel, not bad. Once you get your Blade of the Rune King, his split push power is just absolutely ridiculous with teleport. And hopefully you guys actually enjoy the series idea. I'm not going to split it up into five lanes. I'm just going to have it go, hopefully, top jungle mid ADC support and we'll just rotate like that. We are still gonna have everything else. I'll still do my rank commentaries, normal commentaries. I am gonna bring back the Diamond in the Rough series, but I guess it's gonna be Master in the Rough now. And I'll take that account hopefully from Diamond 5, maybe to Masters. I don't think I'm good enough, but we'll see what we can do. So as always guys, if you liked the video, go, in the, go ahead and throw it a like. I'll have all my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as Zoom Smasheries in the info box below. And as always, I'll see you all next time.